Welcome to EventDraw. To begin using EventDraw, simply visit our website at eventdraw.com. Once you're there, you'll notice our homepage displaying various sections, including a login screen located on the right-hand side. This is where you can input your credentials and access your EventDraw account. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll be greeted with an array of templates specifically tailored to your needs. These templates can include ballrooms, individual meeting rooms, and spaces, or even a combination of different areas within an overall plan. On the left-hand side of the interface, you'll find an extensive collection of shapes divided into various categories. We offer thousands of shapes, ranging from tables and chairs to stages and dance floors, as well as AV equipment, fantastic outdoor and exhibition equipment, and even signage and building shapes. With EventDraw, you have all the tools you need to bring your event vision to life. Opening a floor plan with EventDraw is a breeze. Simply click on the green templates button. Also remember, when you save your event plan in EventDraw, it will be instantly saved to the EventDraw cloud. This is a quick and easy way to keep all your floor plan layouts in one place. Of course, you also have the option to save plans to your PC or Apple device if you prefer. However, we highly recommend saving your plans to the cloud for convenience. To open a saved plan, it's just as simple. Click on the green templates button located in the top right hand corner. On the left side, you'll find templates and just below it, there is saved layouts. The saved layouts section contains all the event floor plans you've created. Clicking on saved layouts will reveal a blue button allowing you to browse your PC or Mac and open a plan that has been saved to your device. Templates consist of venues and floor plans designed by the EventDraw team and uploaded to your account. Lastly, at the bottom, you'll find the Edit List button, which enables you to view and delete any old plans that are no longer required. With these simple steps, you'll have easy access to your floor plans, making planning and organizing your events more efficient than ever. When you find a table you want to add, simply drag and drop it onto the floor plan. To speed up the process, you can use the copy tools. Click on a table and use the arrow buttons to copy the tables or equipment in any direction. You can also use the drop-down menu to select the quantity item, so you can multiple copy items on the floor plan. So for this example, let's create a row of 10 and once done, create another row going down. We have a great feature called Autofill. With Autofill, you can effortlessly add numerous tables or chairs to a floor plan in a matter of seconds. So begin by placing a furniture shape onto the floor plan. While the shape is selected, press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard. Simultaneously, click the mouse button and create the desired area where you want to distribute the tables. Release both the mouse button and the Shift key. Voila! You will notice that multiple furniture items have been automatically placed within the designated area. Chair spacing is essential for creating the desired layout. If you feel the furniture items are too close, you can adjust the spacing. Simply do this by right-clicking on the mouse and select the option that says Changing Space. You will notice you can choose whether to measure from the edge of the table or the back of the chair and you can always adjust the measurement to whatever measurement and distance between objects you prefer. Just click Apply once done. Now let's learn how to number the tables or chairs. First, highlight all the tables, then on the toolbar click on the numbering button. You will see on the right side, you have many choices for the sequence and direction for table numbering. Put your mouse over the images, you will also have a preview, so you can view what you are about to choose. You can choose to start at any number, or you can skip any numbers. You can also manually number each table if you prefer not to follow the predefined layouts. Just click on manual numbering then once selected, just click on the table or chair in any order you prefer. Now it's time to explore the modify table feature. Here, you can customize various options for the tables. If you put your cursor and select tables, simply click on the modify table option on the toolbar. From here we can select the number of chairs around the table. So for this table, we can change the number of chairs around the table. 
you will see that changing the number of chairs will res paste the chairs evenly around the table. We can take this further with more customization for each table. Now let's click on Cabaret. You will see the table is now configured for a cabaret style setup. You can even set the spacing around the table as you can see here. You have the ability to change the facing direction of your cabaret setup. Once again, just click the tables. And within the modify table function, click on the change rotation. And you can enter, for example, 90 degrees. Now, let's explore other options by turning on the table and share text feature. There you have it, just that simple. When you make changes to your default table, why not save it back into your favorites for easy access? Simply select the modified table and drag it back into your shapes. You can give it a custom name and click save to store it in your favorites. These custom stencils can be shared with your entire team, streamlining the process and ensuring consistency. Just remember to click on the purple save button to ensure your stencil is saved successfully. Let's dive into the process of creating custom equipment and saving them to the favorites tab. To begin, we'll create a custom stage by using the add shape button on the toolbar. Once the stage shape is added, click on the size and position button. Next, let's enter the measurements for the stage piece. You can easily modify its size by dragging the corners to increase or decrease the size. To further enhance the appearance, let's create a set of steps by copying the stage piece and reducing its size accordingly. You can achieve this by clicking the copy buttons to duplicate the steps. For added convenience, you have the option to group the steps with the stage as one shape. Simply select both the steps and the stage, then click on the group button on the toolbar. This ensures that the steps move along with the stage when adjustments are made. Now that you have created the custom stage and steps, let's save them to your Favorites tab for quick access. Drag the desired shape to the Favorites tab. Give it a name. Click Apply and then click Save. Once saved, the Favorites tab provides you with easy access to the shapes you frequently use. OK, let's now explore the Layers Manager feature. By clicking on Layers, you can access different layers. These layers can be turned on and off. You can begin by clicking on the Layer Manager in your toolbar. To create a new layer, click on the plus button within the Layer Manager. It's a small icon with a plus sign. I'm selecting it now. Double-click on the new layer and type in a name for it, then click Rename. To move items onto your new layer, select the desired items and click on the Move Selection button. Once you've selected your new layer, the items you selected will be placed onto it. To show or hide layers, simply click on the associated checkbox. Should you need to lock a layer, so items cannot be moved on the floor plan, click on the padlock icon. You can move the order of your layers by clicking the arrows on the right, or you can simply drag and drop them to rearrange them. To start using folders for organizing your floor plans, kindly contact the team to set it up and update your account accordingly. Once the feature is enabled, you can access the folders by clicking on Templates. From there, you'll be able to view existing folders and easily move floor plans into new folders. Simply select the desired floor plan and choose the appropriate folder where you'd like to place it. Upon successful movement, you will receive a confirmation message. To create a new folder, click on the Create Folder button. Then enter a name for the folder and click Create. Additionally, you can create subfolders within existing folders, which will be automatically categorized under the same parent folder. To further organize your folders, you have the option to rename or delete a folder. Click on the three dots next to the folder name for these options. However, please note that deletion is only possible if the folder is empty. To navigate back to the master folder list, simply click on the Home button. Utilizing folders is a great way to categorize and manage your saved layouts. To summarize, Folders provides greater flexibility and organization for your floor plans and saved layouts. If you can't see folders in your account, simply contact our team for assistance. Let me walk you through how to share plans using EventDraw's live sharing feature. 
sharing plans is an excellent way to collaborate with team members or clients, and it's incredibly simple. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. First, start by clicking the Share Plan purple button. This will open a pop-up asking you to save the plan before proceeding. Click Yes to save it. Second, enter the event information and date in the provided fields. This will help your team members or clients understand the purpose and schedule of the plan. Third, now, you'll see the option to toggle the Share Plan feature on or off. Turn it on. Fourth, once the Share Plan feature is activated, click the Copy Link button to generate a live link to the plan. Fifth, click the Open button to view a preview of the plan. This will open a fresh window, allowing you to see the plan in view mode. Sixth, as soon as you share the live link with your team members or clients, they will also be able to access the plan in view mode. Lastly, if you want your client or team members to edit the plan, you can allow them to do so by turning on the Allow to Edit the Plan option. This will grant them the ability to modify tables, chairs, and layers within the plan. By following these steps, you can easily share plans and foster seamless collaboration with your team members or clients. When you save your event plan while using EventDraw, it will be instantly saved to the EventDraw cloud. This process is fast, easy, and it provides a centralized location to save all your floor plan layouts. Of course, you also have the option to save plans to your PC or Apple device if you prefer. However, we strongly recommend saving plans to the cloud for added convenience and accessibility. Now, let's explore how to open a saved plan. Click on the green templates button, which is located in the top right-hand corner. On the left side, you'll find templates, and just below it, saved layouts. The saved layouts section contains all the event floor plans you have created. Clicking on saved layouts will prompt a blue button to appear, enabling you to browse your PC or Mac and open any plan that has been saved to your device. Furthermore, the templates section consists of venues and floor plans designed by the event draw team and uploaded to your account, providing you with a variety of options to choose from. Lastly, at the bottom, you have the edit list button, which allows you to view and delete old plans that are no longer required. To print an event plan, simply follow these easy steps. First, click on the print plan button located on your toolbar. Once you do that, a drop-down menu with various options will appear. For this example, let's choose the PDF option. Second, after selecting the PDF option, you can leave the settings at their default values and proceed with the export. And lastly, give the plan a name and save it to your computer. To print a specific area of the floor plan, simply follow these steps. First, on the toolbar, click on the Export Plan button. A drop-down menu with various options will appear. Select the PDF Area button. Second, use your mouse to click and drag, creating a selection around the area you wish to print. Lastly, on the right-hand tab, you will see a preview of the selected area. Once you're satisfied, click on Export to PDF. The PDF floor plan will then be downloaded to your computer or device, containing only the selected area you chose to print. By following these steps, you can easily focus on specific sections of the floor plan and obtain a PDF version for your convenience. Let's explore the equipment lists in EventDraw and how to utilize the Inventory Reports feature. To begin, you can view all the equipment on your floor plan by clicking on the Inventory option located next to the Templates button on the toolbar. This will display a comprehensive list of all the equipment currently present on your floor plan. For a more refined view, you can select specific items on the floor plan, and the inventory will show only these selected items. To make things even more convenient, hover over the inventory report on the right-hand side, and by double-clicking on any item in the list, you will automatically select all corresponding items on the floor plan. If you wish to include this report on your plan, you can click on Copy Report to place it accordingly. Additionally, there is an option to export your floor plan for further use. Now we're going to show you how to use the revolutionary immersive 3D experience that the platform provides. 
The 3D feature allows you to view the seating plan in full 360-degree photorealistic 3D, providing you with a realistic virtual tour experience. To get started, first, create your seating plan. Once you're happy with your plan, simply click the Extras in them 3D Matterport button to enter the immersive 3D mode. Here, you can view the seating plan you created and navigate the virtual space easily. But the best part is yet to come. The digital twin of the venue enables you to make changes to the floor plan in real time, giving you the freedom to move tables and chairs around with ease. As you make changes to the floor plan, the immersive 3D plan will instantly be updated to reflect the changes, allowing you to visualize various event setups without needing to visit the venue physically. So, don't be afraid to experiment and try out different event configurations. The immersive 3D experience gives you the opportunity to create the perfect setup for your event from the comfort of your own screen.